Happy Friday, everyone! Come make some soup with me. Comment soup as soon as you see this video, whether that is right now while I'm live or later, just comment soup so I kind of know who's here and uh, who's watching the videos, okay? So uh, let me know what your favorite soup recipe is. I have never made a Gouda soup, so it'll be my first time. So come hang out with me. Let's turn on this pot and get to work. Morning. Ah, just trying to get my other video to work here. One sec. Go live. All right, all right. We're making some soup. So let's turn on our pot right here. And we're going to start by melting half a stick of butter. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to saute some onions with that. All right. So let me know what is the weather like where you live? It is a gorgeous spring day in New York. The sun's out. I have no idea what the temperature is, but it's gorgeous. Probably 60s or something. Um, I saw Colorado got some snow. So sorry for all of you guys to live in Colorado. But um, yeah, let's get to work. We're making a Gouda soup from our Taste Bud subscription box. So though it's a nice day, it's not really a soup day, but um, my son just got braces, so he's ready for any soft foods. So any brace tip, braces tips, definitely send them my way. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started and chop our onion right here. I always chop it really, really small so nobody sees my onions. Greetings from Germany. Hallo Deutschland. Hello, hello. So we're going to go ahead and saute this onion and hopefully we won't cry. Let's go run some cold water. So hopefully there's no crying going on. All right, so let me get a spatula here. So half a stick of butter and one onion, and we're just gonna saute it all up, all right? And until the onion is very translucent. Hey, Stephanie, thanks for popping in. How you doing? What are the kids doing today? Hey, Teresa. All right, so while that is sauteing up, let's see what the next step is. Add the onion, then we're gonna add the flour and the seasoning. So we need six tablespoons of flour. So basically, if you've ever mixed um, butter and flour, you're making a roux, R-O-U-X, I think it's a French word, and that's what you use to thicken any broths, cream sauces, mac and cheese, and gravy, anything like that. So that's probably why there was a lot more butter than I would normally put in there. But if we're trying to make a roux and thicken the soup, right? That's what we need. We need six tablespoons of flour. Let me turn that up a little bit. It's a little slow here. So while we wait for that, let's go ahead and peel and chop two onions as well. And remember with any soup recipe, anything goes, okay? You don't have carrots and broccoli? I don't know, add mushrooms, add zucchini, add potatoes. Um, it's a soup, right? <laughs> Your kids are not listening, Stephanie. That's what, that sounds like what kids do these days, right? Um, all right, so let's go peel and chop that and get that all ready. So what's for dinner at your house tonight? Let's hear it. And I have a bonus tip for leftover bread towards the end of this video when we get to making our croutons. So stay tuned. Isn't it Leprechaun weekend? Does anybody celebrate St. Patrick's Day? My kids call it Leprechaun weekend or Leprechaun Day. I thought that was interesting. Peel, 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 peel. Remember, don't throw away your veggie scraps. Put them in a Ziploc bag 
and it makes a delicious vegetable stock. So we're just going to move them to the side. I think you could slice these too to have some like bite to it in your soup, but we're just going to chop it up so none of my kids complain. Right? What's happening over here? <laughs> hey, Danielle, thanks for popping in. Hey, Beth, thanks for showing up. Make sure whenever you see this video, you comment soup so I know that you're watching live. And this is just one of the recipes that comes in the Taste Buds subscription box. You get this once a month. You get recipes, seasonings, discounts on future orders, um, and other subscriber perks as well. It's only like less than $20 a month. All right, our onions are sizzling up here. We want them to be translucent. Mm, it's not good. It's just something about butter, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Hey, Timmy. All right, so we're going to chop up our onion next. We're going to make some noise here. Chop it up real small. By the way, anything I show you, you can find in the link tree in my bio on my Pamper Chef storefront. Um, do not go to Amazon. Do not go anywhere else because they're not real Pamper Chef products. <laughs> okay, I see a lot of random TikTok shop, random things on Amazon that are advertised as Pamper Chef, but they're not. So then when you have quality issues, don't call me, okay? All right, let's chop this up. for your kids as well. All right, I think our onions are translucent. So we're gonna add six tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of the smooth gouda, gouda. I wanna say gouda. That's what German people say, right? My Germans, gouda, gouda käse. So gouda, uh, ba -ba -ba. And we're going to cook that for two minutes and then add the broth. So we need a little whiskey whisk. Where is my whiskey whisk? So since we're using a nonstick pan, right, you want to use a whisk that has a coating on it so you don't scratch your pan, all right? Hey, Sarah, thanks for popping in. All right, so six tablespoons of flour goes in here to make our roux and thicken our soup. And use these adjustable measuring spoons they make the job easy one two three four five and six and then two tablespoons let me whisk that real quick we don't want our flour to burn i'm going to turn it down to about medium so this is what creates your roux. It should look like little crumbles. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Get all that flour in here. So you basically turn it into these crumbles and then we loosen the crumbles up again and they make our little cheese sauce, all right? Smooth Gouda seasoning, exclusive for Taste Food subscriber. Smells like cheese, that's all I can say. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of that make it cheesy this is great on popcorn makes for great mac and cheese as well all right once we have that mixed in we are going to slowly here's the key about a roux have you ever made a roux put roux yes or roux no r-o-u-x is how you spell it let me know in the comments if you've ever ever made a roux we got three cups of vegetable broth okay here's your money saving tip you don't need to buy vegetable broth in a can or in a um, like container. Just buy the powder, okay? And then just add it to water. Saves you space in your pantry and tastes the same, okay? Now we're slowly, you're going you're gonna to have to keep whisking. The goal is to not have any um, crumbles. What's the word? Sometimes my multilingual brain does not work. Um, any clumps, clumps. There we go. 
Uh, so we're gonna whisk, 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 and basically dissolve all this floury mess. And if we need to later, we can always add a little bit more water. If you feel like it's too bland, I always like to season with chicken broth. Um, you can always add a little bit more. So this is going to turn into our cheesy cheddar soup. But no worries, we're gonna add some cheddar cheese, okay? Do you love cheese? We're my cheese lovers. Um, does anybody have a cheese drawer? like a meat and cheese straw, like that's literally, my son will eat like, I mean, he's a teenager, but he'll eat like, I couldn't even tell you how many cheese sticks a day. Cheese sticks, cheese cubes, cheese balls, uh, cheese slices. Uh, there's cheese galore in my house. What about you guys? Do you have cheese galore? All right, so I'm gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. And now the goal is to get all these clumps out. I don't know if you guys can see this. We're gonna get all these clumps out. That's the goal when you make a roux, is whisk, 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 so you can get them all out. And then because of the flour, that's what's gonna help thicken it up. Okay. I think it is good to go. All right, so now we're gonna let that thicken and then we're gonna add our broccoli and our carrots. So about one large head of broccoli cut into small florets. Ain't got time for that. I got frozen broccoli, okay? Get the frozen broccoli out. Stephanie, you love cheese? Do your kids eat all kinds of cheese too? Oh, kids just love cheese, except Gigi. Only likes cheddar cheese, that's it. <laughs> uh, oh, was just talking about her. There she is. All right. Let's get our carrots on. There's only one chopper. It's the Pampered Chef Food Chopper that you can get on my website. It's the best out of all of them. I've had mine for 14 years, okay? Don't get the cheap one, just get one good one and you're good to go. Okay, so this is thickening up beautifully. Okay, we're gonna get all these carrots in here. And here's the other cool part about this chopper. Okay, like compared to other ones on the market that are cheap, opens up and you can get everything in here and get everything nice and clean and it goes in your dishwasher, okay? All right, let's get all these carrots in here now. Let all that cook. And then it calls for some half and half, but I never buy half and half. Uh, it's, some, it's nothing I, I don't know, I didn't grow up with half and half, so I don't really know how to use it. So I always just use heavy cream. So, and just kind of go with that. All right, so we got some carrots in here. Gonna let all that cook. Then we're gonna add some broccoli. Just gonna use the whole bag, why not, right? I'll turn this up a little bit. So when you catch this video live, make sure you comment live. Um, hey, Maureen. Yes, thank you. I hope it comes out great, too. Hey, Maggie. Um, you love all kinds of cheese. Yes. Hey, Jackie White. How you doing, girl? Haven't seen you in a minute. So we're just going to add this whole bag of broccoli. You know, it's a recipe. You don't have to follow it precisely. You don't have to chop up the broccoli. You don't want to, right? I'm just going to go with that. All right. I'm going to mix all this up. Let that cook. And then we need, I think we need some half and half. Doo -doo -doo. And then lastly at the end, two cups of half and half. Yeah, so lastly at the end, we're going to add some cheddar cheese. Let me go get some heavy cream. And if you use heavy cream, I would probably not use two cups or just use according to um, your taste. So I'm going to go with like, it's about half in here. So about one cup 
and then I'd rather add a little bit more vegetable broth so you can thin it out or make it thicker depending on how you like it, okay? So um, then the last step is to make some croutons, okay? So let me clean up here a little bit. I'm gonna give you some tips on croutons. Let me go get some salt and pepper. Because you know, everything needs salt and pepper because otherwise it tastes super bland. So we're gonna season this up too. Now, when it comes to croutons, I have a little tip for you. Any any of your kids love Uncrustables? Yes, you caught it live. Hey, Jackie, awesome. Hey, Sarah. Um, anybody love croutons? Make croutons yourself, right? And do your kids love Uncrustables? So Marco loves peanut butter and jelly Uncrustables, but I hate wasting the crust, right? So um, I hate wasting the crust. So a lot of times when I make videos for TikTok or Reels, people are always like, oh my God, you're wasting the crust. I don't waste the crust. I freeze any bread ants, any uh, crust, anything like that. And now I'm gonna use that and get that out of the freezer, cut it up, season it with oil, bake it, and then that will be my crouton. So let me show you one of those facts, okay? Did you know that hack? Save it, just freeze it, and you'll always need it for breadcrumbs, for croutons, for crumbled bread in like meatballs or something like that, or any other things that needs like chopped up bread pieces, <laughs> okay? Bread pudding works for that too. So uh, let me know if you knew that trick, yes or no. Let me go get it. Um, so this is my freezer bag, okay? A lot of times I'll have like fresh bread and you know, fresh bread like goes really a uh, great idea. Yes, also I'm glad, Maureen, you like it. Um, it goes stale or whatever. You can just throw it in your freezer bag and now I'm gonna cube these up, season them with some olive oil, put some more of that Gouda seasoning um, in there and then make croutons out of this croutons for salad. I don't really eat that many croutons, but this recipe calls for them. So, I mean, a big bowl of warm soup with croutons, right? Sounds like a great idea. All right, so let's straighten up here and do the final touches on the croutons. You can add more veggies, less veggies, whatever, whatever works for you. Let me show you what it looks like. Let me see. Here it is, our Gouda cheesy broccoli soup you don't like broccoli don't have broccoli <laughs> okay you want to add some like cubed ham add some cubed ham do whatever you want it's a soup okay you have control over it my friends we don't have control over all things but we do have control over what we put in our soup right okay so let's go make some croutons cut those up into little cubes put them in a bowl season them and then I'll tell you about the three ways to get our products. Let me come in here and grab a bowl. Small kitchen problems. And as always, if I'm live and you have any questions, let me know. Great idea. Awesome. Make sure you hit the follow button if you're new here. I appreciate it. So let's get this frozen bread out. We're just going to cut it up, get a couple of these. The ends, right? I actually like the ends, but I don't eat that much bread, so we're just gonna cube these up for a crouton, and nobody's gonna know that these were bread leftovers. We're gonna bake them in the air fryer, you can bake them in the oven. It's gonna be that time soon, summer, where I do not turn my oven on, and everything and anything goes in my air fryer. So anyway, so while I cube these up, um, again, if you just joined, make sure you comment soup. I would greatly, the algorithm would appreciate even one comment, a food emoji, a dot, anything, okay? So make sure that my friends see all my posts. Um, this is what we made. We made the broccoli Gouda soup. I should probably read through it to make sure I did everything, but I think I'm fine. Oh, the cheese. So at the end, we're gonna add eight ounces of grated cheddar cheese. 
um, completely at the end, but I'm not going to do that until I'm completely done. Okay. Cause you want to add that in at the end to just kind of melt in and then serve. Okay. So that's what we made. So whenever you see this video, common soup, um, I'll finish up with the croutons right here with our freezer bread trick. If you have any questions, let me know. But every uh, week when I go live, I tell you about three ways to get our products. So number one, you can just shop. Okay. If you are in one of my virtual parties, you want to go to the virtual party link. Um, if not, you can go to link tree, my bio, please don't go to Amazon. Please don't go to TikTok shop. Okay. Uh, you're supporting a small business and it's greatly appreciated. And, um, you can just buy whatever you want. You get a free gift at $90 or more. Um, everything, all your purchases come with a warranty and you also get a free, uh, free shipping at 150 or more. Okay. Um, and if you feel like you see a lot of the things, uh, and maybe you are familiar with Pamper Chef, maybe you're not, you can host a virtual gathering online. You just invite your friends, um, to a group online and I share recipes, tips and tricks and you earn free and discounted items. So that's another way to get a lot of our products uh, for cheap and discounted. And um, yeah, this month you can join Pamper Chef for $25. You get the cup slicer, the viral cup slicer for $25 plus a business to make some side gig money or more, whatever works for you. I've been doing this for 14 years. I'm one of the top uh, leader in the entire company and part of the number one team in the entire company as well. So I love empowering women. I love coaching people. I love helping people make money. Um, so just click the link in my bio and just click become a consultant. And I would love to help you make money while you're cooking dinner for your family anyways. Okay. So there's three ways you can get our products. So you see, although the bread is frozen, it's so easy to cut through with a sharp knife. So we're just going to coat this with some olive oil with our, um, olive oil dispenser right here do, do, do. make sure you comment live if you caught this live or later if you're watching this comment replay okay we're so good over here then we're going to season this with some salt and pepper and then we're just going to throw this in the air fryer or in the oven and i'm going to recipe doesn't say that but i'm like why wouldn't we add the seasoning thanks for commenting soup sarah appreciate it thanks um, why wouldn't we add some more cheese <laughs> to the croutons? I don't know. You could probably add some Parmesan that, that crisps up really good with the croutons as well. And that's it, my friends. That is it. So thanks for joining me live. Make sure you hit the follow button. I appreciate every single one of you guys so much for watching. I know you're busy. Um, and thanks for the likes and the follows and the hearts and all the things. Um, I wish you guys a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.